Good day guys, uh, this is Jay Fernandez, your Maximo Administrator and the topic for today is that we are going to discuss how to create all order. Now, on your computer, open Mozilla Firefox Internet Browser and then access the uh, Maximo server, okay? Right now, I am using, I am accessing the Maximo training server but in your case, you need to access the production server. Okay? Here, it will uh, first it will ask me a uh, user account and uh, username and password. Okay? Math S3 and uh, 156. Okay? The username I'm using to access the uh, uh, test server, the training server is that math s3 and the password is 123456. Okay, you can also access, uh, uh, you can also do the training by yourself by accessing this app, uh, web address for the training server. Okay, now I'm going to sign in. Okay. here in Maximum Server. Okay. Since our topic for today is um, uh, how to create work order. Okay. To create work order okay, in your screen if you are an engineer, of course if you are not an engineer you are not allowed to create work order. This is this work, or, up work order application is only for engineers. Okay. Here we have it here favorite application and quick insert application quick insert uh, area yeah. here you will see uh, the new work order link you can click it click it for you to create a new work order okay now here work order number is automatically generated description okay if you are going to put details of your description, write the details of your description. Here, problem. Let's let put me let me put an example. Here, yeah. okay. Now let's leave blank the description because we are going to auto populate it using the classification. Okay, now how are you going to populate it? Just uh, scroll down a little bit on your screen and then you see this one classification. Click this one and then select classify. Here we have options here. First, mechanical, civil, electrical, and general services. Okay, you see here there are uh, signs you see. When you see plus, it means that you can expand or explode it. I'm clicking now the mechanical, and it shows me the children of the issues in my mechanical. If I'm going to select LPG system, okay, automatically my description will be changed. Okay, but here don't forget in the details state the details of your problem. Okay. Now, to continue filling up the work order, we need to identify location, okay? In location, you need to click here, then select value. You will find the list, all list of uh, uh, location that is encoded already in Maximum. Now, here we have the location area here. This one is the location code created by the Maximo system. Here in the plate number, this one is we could use the existing plate numbering of our buildings or locations to locate it in Maximo. Let's say for example, I want to, I want uh, the problem is under uh, uh, LPG. Okay, and what's the building number of the LPG? Mm, 7.16.0 let's try to type it here in the plate number 7.16.0 okay now 
it shows us the building number the, the location information and it's allocated location code in Maximo it's called 07-06 okay just click it and now you have selected E location for the problem okay now in your case if you are having a, a problem your problem is needs to only to identify the location and then only you need to do is delete the asset just in case this will be this will be displayed in the production server okay now we already input the details the classification and uh, the next thing we need to do is to provide priority of the work order in our case we have five levels of priority priority one priority two two priority three and the priority four and five okay let's say i'm going to do here priority five here in priority ju the, uh, justification you can use this one to uh, justify why you mentioned its priority five or why you mentioned it, its priority one so you can put your justification in this field okay the next thing you need to do is that here you will be asked to provide supervisor that who who will supervise the work job okay just click here and then select uh, find uh, find the uh, supervisor or the name of your labor okay for Ali Mama you will type it YC and then plus his employee ID let's say for my case 45161 okay after after identifying it you need to click here the ID the person ID for it to, to value it here okay now next is that we already provided description details location or asset okay, classification priority and super supervisor who will supervise the work then what's next okay the next thing we need to do is that we are going to assign it to the maintenance group what I'm referring to the maintenance group is that the, the group who will resolve problem let's say I have a uh, civil group I have a uh, boiler group I have LPG group okay so now how am I going to assign this work order to a specific maintenance group you need to click it here you see this one in your icon select owner group or select owner it has a shortcut keys here control alt o you can do that one also okay this is control alt o this will be for the advanced guys who can uh, uh, do work order as fast as they can but right now we are still beginners so we're going to follow what's the typical process okay you click this icon and I'm going to assign this one this problem to um, let's say YC 34 mechanical AH okay here you click it okay now since I assign it to mechanical issues I'm going to change the declassification and uh, for it to coincide with the assignment mechanical and then AHU okay now you already prepared everything what's next for you to do next thing you need to do is click route workflow okay now it says that the, the main uh, workflow for this work order is already started and again click again route workflow now it tells uh, the system tells you that insert task for work order where should I go to insert task for work order okay here 
you're going to go to the plan tab plans tab and in this area you will see this one task or work order the system the work order will not be moved forward until you provide at least one task for the work order if you're not going to provide it when whenever you click route workflow it will it will keep telling you insert task for work order so i'm going to insert task now okay now let's say i'm uh, uh, all right your task okay you have the estimated duration if you could provide estimated duration that would be great for your uh, work order each task okay then here you can click it for you to, to shrink it okay now I already provide one task I'm going to provide again another task I need to click new row okay and type your second task okay now let's say I'm I already finished uh, uh, providing task what's next for me to do okay next for me to do is that I need to plan the labor okay how are you going to plan labor Okay. First, you need to select new row or select row. If you don't ident if you don't, uh, if you are not sure who will be the, who will be the, the technicians that will uh, work on it, then you need to select row. And here you will find here contract. Okay. Now. For Aliyamama, you are going to select craft available in Yamama. In contract, you should provide 101. Okay? Now, all of this place now, all of this uh, that displayed are Aliyamama's craft. Okay? Now, if you are from Safari, you are going to select here in your contract 2. This is for all the Safari's uh, craft. And lastly, for Zaharan, you can select contact number 31003 and it will display you all the, con the craft under Zaharan. Now, let's go back to Anyamama's uh, contract. And then, here, I am going to, we are going to uh, locate for a uh, craft who will do the job. It's a technician. Okay, you can do. You can use keywords here just to filter uh, all crap. Here we have uh, HVAC technician. We have AC technician. Okay, so let's say let's select one HVAC technician and then click OK. Here you will see here in quantity have one. If you need three HBAC technicians to resolve the problem, then you need to provide three here in the quantity. Okay? If you need only one, of course no need to change anything, it will automatically generate you uh, one. Okay? Now the next thing you need to do is that in your work order you need material how are you going to insert material in maximum all the information of your material okay now here in beside labor tab you will see here materials uh, open it by clicking okay and here you will see the list of your materials but right in, in our case there is no materials since we just created this one and we are going to select now a new material okay now the first thing you need to do is to identify the storeroom which storeroom should I get my item 
let's say for this example Aliyamama spare parts so here spare parts storeroom number three okay now I already selected my uh, storeroom the next thing you need to do is I'm going to select my item what is the item I need to resolve the work order okay let's say example for me let's say example here commodity you will filter it by doing if you want to display all civil civil uh, items it will be displayed all mechanical items write down Mac and then all mechanicals will be displayed here okay on the other hand if you want electrical just type elect and you will see here now let's say I'm going to use fuse set to amperes 10 by 38 I'm going to select it now I already input the item that I need in to resolve the work order here the next thing I need to do is that how many of this item should I need okay here in quantity you can provide the quantity of your need example I need two okay here save it now if you already know as an engineer you already know that this item you are requesting is not yet in the warehouse and you want it to automatically direct issue to you you can check this one direct issue okay if you want to uh, to move the item and it will stop by to the warehouse then uncheck it okay if you check a uh, direct issue once the once the item has been delivered to the warehouse they will automatically give you the item okay now here in my case here I put example here spare parts so we are finished now we finished labor we finished materials and we finished our task let's save it then route it okay now what happened uh, to the work order is that the status of the work order it became planned what do you mean by status plan okay when the status is planned it means that the work order now has been forwarded to your section head okay your section head now will uh, evaluate your work order plans task materials and labors and he has two options uh, to accept it and to give it back to you for modification okay now for this one we are going to discuss this uh, um, section head function in the next lesson okay thank you and uh, oh by the way okay Ad additional one for you guys is that there is how to check who is the guy having the responsibility of the work order okay you need to look select action workflow and workflow assignment okay in this case in my I'm using a test it's telling me ma test 5 it means that I right now I am currently logged in as ma test 3 so the system telling me that the work order now is assigned to ma test 5 it, it means that it's not me I cannot do anything for this one okay so this is how you identify which assignment the work order right now okay again select action workflow and view workflow assignment okay okay that's it for the lesson today thank you